All right, Bob, because of overwhelming support and popularity for our last SI, sacral iliac joint, which right. is right down here, I wanted to get on another video that has some really specific Different options. options, and there's one we missed on the first one, Sure. and we got a little history that shows, I just can't wait to tell the story. It works well. 9.3 seconds, we'll show you a two or three outstanding, get up, Sam, behave, Pay attention. we'll be right there. Bob and Brad, the two most famous physical therapists on the internet. All right, we're just going to show a quick anatomy review of the SI joint with Sam, our man. And uh, actually, what we're going to do is look at the joint. It's the sacral iliac. So right. sacral is the sacrum. Iliac is the ilium, which is this part of the pelvis. And there's two of them. Yep, one on each side. So there's two SI joints. Now, look, and they're... And this joint does not move like an elbow right. joint or shoulder. It actually has minimal movement. There's controversy on if it moves at all. All ligaments. But if there is movement, there's just a little bit of movement here. And sometimes they become hypermobile. Right. Uh, women who are pregnant experience right. that for part of the birthing process. So things can open up and uh, you can have it's the It's a hormone relaxant. But it works. And uh, I just had a case with a friend of mine, a male, 67-year-old, right. extreme pain from SI joint problem. And we, he fixed it after watching one of our videos. Was it one side? Just one side. Yeah. We're going to show you that gotcha. in just a second. Okay, SI joint here. Now, what you can do, and actually my friend called 30 miles away. I couldn't get to see him. And he, I said, watch some of our SI videos. And he called me back the next day, and he said, you fixed me. Mm. I was walking around for the last three weeks with a cane because it hurt so bad. Uh, and he's and a, he saw a chiropractor, right? He's all chiropractor, no and difference. a doctor. Saw a doctor. Uh, they were looking for kidney issues. The doctor says it's an SI joint. And one of our videos talks about, or we have a couple of them that talk about an SI belt. You don't have to go buy one. Right. And this is what he did. He took one of his belts out of the closet. And what you do with an SI belt, I'll show you on me. It's very simple. You put it around. And it's important that you put it around at the right level. It has to squeeze around the, the, pelvis. the pelvis on both sides. If you're up too high, then you're just squeezing your right. internal organs. Abdomen. No good. So we're gonna show you exactly how to do this and how it works so well. Okay, so I've got my belt around my waist. I can feel my pelvis bones right there. I'm below that edge. That's called the crest, iliac crest. Put the belt on. It's nice to have a belt that adjusts slow or with small increments instead of like one inch these are like a quarter inch right that works better and now i'm just pulling it tight 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 and you're gonna get it fairly tight and this is exactly what rick did but it should feel good yes as soon as he got that pressure on there he could stand up and put weight on it with no pain he had a problem getting up from a chair without pain with the belt and the pressure on, no pain. It happened just like that. He called me up. He was all excited. And, I and was, once I was, the comp is down, you can probably get rid of the belt. Right. You're not going to sleep with the belt. Right. So I take it off. And you may uh, take it off maybe for an hour at a time and then sure. increase it. Or maybe even start out with 10 or 15 minutes. Right. Um, but one way or another, you're going to keep it on until it settles down. And If it helps. Yep. Yeah, if it helps. And right. you will know right away. Right. If it does not help, we're going to go on to the second option, which can be a really good quick fix as well. All right, the second option is, is very simple. Just take a chair with armrests like this, and as you can put your foot on and uh, bear some weight onto it. Uh, say my right, and this is one I personally use. My right, right SI joint is unstable, and I have problems with it, you know, on a regular basis, four or five times a year at least. When it acts up, uh, this is one of my options. I'll put my foot up here, and this is the painful one, the right side, and I'm going to lean into it gently. And you're only going to do this this far as if it feels good. When you get to this part and you feel, oh, that's good, you're moving that joint. Same thing, no pain. Yep, no pain. You're moving it in the right direction. You got the armrest yep. to support him. And I'll go into it as far as it feels good. If I get so far and it starts to hurt, that's too far. Just work it gently. So, Brad, you could do the, this on a staircase, right? Yep, on a staircase, you can do it with a stool. I've done it outside on a on the uh the rock boulders, or sure. not, you know, for the, uh, 
you know, the stuff out retaining in the yard. Retaining wall. Yeah, retaining wall. Thank you, Bob. Uh, uh, and then you can do that every hour or as, as needed. Now, if you do this and it's not doing the trick or it's not, it's helping but not enough, I've got another trick that works really well for me as also. All right. A few years ago, we start working with massage guns. And their massage guns, they have an airhead that's soft. And I found out that if I use this on my SI joint in that hip area, it is incredible. Heaven. It is very, very nice. So I, I just step away. Uh, you get the airhead on there, get it moving to whatever intensity you want. Obviously, we use our... Our, this is a C2 massage gun. It has, you have to have reciprocating travel. Six to 10 millimeters works well. And this is how I do it. My right SI is always the one that gives me the problems. And I'll take that and I'll work over it. Not necessarily on the SI joint. Sometimes I will. Depends on if it feels good. I it looks oh, like you're pretty close to it, Brad. Yeah. I'm a little bit above it into the muscle, but those muscles are gonna tighten up as a result of that pain. So it can be a good idea to work the muscles around it, get those to relax. And sometimes I will actually go on my ischial tuberosity. This looks a little weird. And I'll push on that ischial. That's the sit bone. On the sit bone. And it feels really good. Actually, right now it, it, it feels good. And you just work that however, and you'll know because it feels really good. Um, you really it, have to have the airhead for this. Yeah, you really do right. if you use one of the other uh, heads it's too aggressive because right. we're working over a joint or bones that don't have a lot of muscle to cushion it. Uh, so this is always gives me relief. Even when my SI isn't hurting, it feels great. You have a lot of tricks, man. Well, you know, <laughs> I'm in the business. So, uh, there we go. Keep those joints feeling happy. We do have a couple other options. Couple other tricks I've used, and I, I've had patients do this many times. You know, if you don't have a massage gun and the other ones aren't working, try this. Again, the right hip is painful, or the right SI. Bring the right knee up to your chest, pull up, and if you pull up far and it feels really good, you can work it that way. Sometimes that's not, that doesn't work well. You can pull it up about this far, maybe 50% into the range, hold it with this hand, and I'm gonna do an isometric, it's called a muscle energy technique, pushing my knee that direction. My hands are holding it still, and it's an isometric push, hold it for five to six seconds. And while you're pushing, you should feel a good solid relief in that area. If it hurts it, you're going the wrong direction, then you have to do the opposite direction, which means you go to the edge of the bed, shoulders on, and let that leg drop down, and that rotates the pelvis the other direction. You can bring this leg up to support it and just leave it hang there. And again, if it feels good, it's the way to do it. If it doesn't, probably the other way. In my case, this does not feel good. This feels, feels good. good. So this is the what I always do. And I treat my patients the same way with good success. Sure. So the notorious SI joint pain, work with these. You're probably going to find one of these or more than one that's going to offer some very quick relief. Uh, be careful and uh, enjoy your uh, rest of your day. And uh, Bob, you have thanks some more? Thanks for joining us. Yeah, thanks for joining us. Yeah.